Hi everyone, it's Zoe here and I know that we're all very, very curious about the year to come, 2023, and I have some exciting news about 2023, which my guides called the year of the openings. It's a very, very positive message or messages that I would like to give to you today. But first of all, for you who doesn't know me, um, my name is Zoe and I'm a channel, I'm a healer and I'm a spiritual thought leader. And I'm totally dedicated to bring back the love, the light, and the power to humanity. And I'm based in Scandinavia, and I have my, my TV show there called Life on the Other Side. I'm also a best-selling author with a book, Mastering the Art of Success, which I wrote uh, together with Jack Canfield, you know, from, from the movie The Secret. I have created several unique concepts. You have Being Attractive Magnet, Soul Vibration Marketing, and Nordic Light Healing, which you probably have heard about. And uh, thousands of people have uh, taken part of my DNA activations, which I share um, in different videos and also in this crystal pendant, the 533 crystal pendant. Uh, I'm using the Atlantean crystal technology to program crystals. So this uh, um, crystal is programmed with the golden frequency, which is a DNA activation or DNA upgrading frequency that I share. So um, I'm also channeling cosmic language, which is a form of light language. It's a high frequency, a lot of information, energy, um, um, containing codes for the, for the ascension process. And cosmic language is also a first contact language. So it's very exciting. But okay, enough about me. Now we're going to dive into um, the different messages and channelings that I've received for 2023. So um, this will act as a support for you, of course, because it's very turbulent and chaotic out there. And... Uh, so a little bit what we can look forward to and how we can best navigate in this in this auspicious times. It's it's very crazy times out there, isn't it? Still, but also very positive times. So I've also pulled some oracle cards uh, that we're going to have a look at, and uh, also a little bit about the numerology of 2023. I will also briefly touch on. The year that we we are leaving 2022 and uh, some messages and I'll pull some cards for that year as well because they of course they overlap it's not just one year and then you changed into something totally different and so they all they they're all connected of course but my guides call uh, 2023 the year of the openings so they have shown me first when I when I sat down and started channel they showed me 2020 because we had to go back a little bit uh, to understand like uh, the whole the whole get the whole picture so they showed me that 2020 was the turning point year um, and that with with that they mean dark versus light and this is also my my own experience um, the way that I see it and, and the way that they showed me is that 2020, the light and in 2020, the light and the dark were sort of like equal energies. Of course, the light is always much more powerful in their quality, quality. But in a sense, in 2020, it was like two and two. So it was like, like equal. And then towards the end of that of that year, uh, we could see that the scale tipped over to the light side. And this is, of course, by default, it was supposed to be like that. And we know that. Um, so we can call that that the light sort of won and became stronger. But of course, it was default, as I said. And this event took place um, in December 21st, 21st of December 2020. Um, so the, the, the winter solstice. So, um, and that was also my experience because that, um, December 21st, 2020, I was experiencing a lot of strong lights, a lot of strong energies coming into, to the earth. Um, I was just laying on the floor, <laughs> totally knocked out. My cat as well, we were just laying there like, oh, 
<laughs> it was very, very powerful. So um, that for me was a turning point in my own life. But of course, different people can experience different things. But the way I see it and uh, in a collective view, uh, there was this, like a, the, the light tipped over. So the, the light won, so to speak. And in the following years that we've seen, 2021, 2022, the momentum has continually, continually built uh, on the light side. So it's one, two, and now three. So it's tipping over, tipping over, tipping over. So the light is getting increasingly stronger and stronger. And that is so positive. And this is also my experience. Even though we can see... Um, What's going on in the world? It seems quite dark, isn't it? But just to explain what my guys have told me is that, you know, the, the light is expanding. It's getting stronger and stronger. And the dark, uh, the dark energies and the dark side, they have a less and less place to, to, uh, to be in, sort of. So it, the dark energies are getting more uh, compact, more intense. Uh, more dense and that's why we see the contrasts very very clearly now we can see the light we can see the dark most people do well not maybe most people but a lot of people do see the contrast between light and dark and that is uh, created that way because we are supposed to ch make uh, wise choices uh, some people not really making wise to choices anyway <laughs> but that's a totally different story but the contrasts are getting are getting um, um in increased in that sense so my guides call the uh, the year 2023 the year of the openings so it's getting more light and they showed me a picture that um i see a lot of holes in the like in the matrix like like a fabric or or a membrane uh, around the earth that is now being filled with holes small small holes where the light can seep in of course the light has been you know flowing in a lot but now it's like the other they're telling you now like the other world like the other version of earth um is getting activated because the outer world and our world um the veil between them is it's really really dissipating um, and this is fantastic news for many reasons, because um, one of them, we're talking about openings, the year of the openings, one of the openings are that the connection with other dimensions, other higher spheres is becoming much stronger. And our, also our individual missions, our life purpose are here on earth, are strengthened and also become, becomes more clear to us much clearer so but i like the 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 way that they show me like okay we're opening up now we're opening up for more connection we're opening up for contact and this is of course preparation of course a preparation for first contact um i will have a first contact program in sweden um probably in 2023 um different meditations and high vibe um healing sessions and different parts in this so that we will prepare ourselves for first contact hopefully i will be able to record this in english as well uh, because i know that the, there's a lot of people that will benefit from this anyways so talking about openings um also of course they're very important for us to to be to be uh, to participate in this process of opening up for first contact opening up for connect connection with higher spheres and other dimensions uh, so we also from our side from our perspective we have to to open up more for to make to be able to make contact of course i just want to remind you of that um but a lot of of the of the connection will also happen automatically but it's very important to actively choose a higher vibrating path. That's very, very important. Talking about your food, for example, that's very important. Um, 
also the opening year also means that uh, there's a, a lot of new uh, collaborations like here on earth as well and it looks like there there is a bridging taking place in place in different air arenas for example in in healthcare that there's a bridge between the alternative holistic way of, of seeing health and um, of and healing and the traditional I wouldn't say traditional but like the, the sick care we actually have that word in Swedish it's called sick care it's not called health care they're trying to change that and that's very positive but what I see that there are bridges between like the old way of thinking and the new way of thinking like the old so-called alternative way of thinking in all different arenas it can be like our agriculture can be as i said in the health and the healthcare system economic system probably also we will see some bridging there uh school system so there's uh, openings everywhere and bridging over um so also when it comes to healthcare, i also see that you know people are getting more more and more sick as you probably have noticed people are getting more and more sick sick um, might be because of the inoculations i don't know but probably so um people are also feeling like they're not getting any help from the tra traditional healthcare system promoting all these medications and, and things like that so they are searching for help in the alternative world and then um the the traditional healthcare system they feel like okay, uh, we're we're losing customers, and we have to be on track with this. You know, we don't we're, we don't want to be left behind. So that's also one of the, the driving forces of the traditional healthcare system. You know, getting up to pace with with um, alt the alternative way of of looking at health and healing. So might be some openings we already have openings some on some places in the world in my country sweden we don't see that that much at all we are most often ridiculed and backstabbed and everything like that so um i see some positive changes uh, starting to happen maybe we won't notice it and it will probably not be in in uh, mainstream media but it might be also some articles, you know, going out here and there in the mainstream media. It's like, this actually helped me. I went to an alternative doctor and I got some herbs and I got really helped. I healed my, my sickness that I've been having for 20 years or whatever. So we will see. So look out for that. Look, look for that in, in media and look for that in, uh, in society as, in, in, as a whole. I also see that the light that is coming into the earth and that we are anchoring this high frequency energies that are coming in and we are contributing to anchoring this energy on the planet and this energy cre creates new opportunities for po for positive new things to to grow and to develop and uh, to really flourish and that's very beautiful. I see this um, like a rainbow, opal, um, and kind of energy, glowing energy being established during 2023. And this will, all, of course, help us in many different ways. I will probably come back to that a little bit later because they, they uh, said many things about that. It's also very good to ask ourselves, how can we contribute to better collaborations and increased collaborations and, and these bridging over between the, the different worlds, so to speak. Of course, by being open and welcoming of, you know, the old way of thinking is like, yeah, really listen to people like, okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, I see that that's very good what you're doing, but that can change and I can contribute to this. And being welcoming and non-judgmental, that is a way of, of bridging over between worlds. And seeing the good, because in, health, in the healthcare system, for example, everybody, most, most people, not everyone, but wants to do good. So by seeing the good, you're actually 
uh, increasing that, of course. And don't expect uh, everything to be negative about, for, for example, the healthcare system or uh, the old way of uh, uh, doing agriculture. So don't expect don't expect it to be to be negative, but also you know being open and non-judgmental because people are doing the best they can in this world, and it's not really easy. Uh, so um, and also letting go of that mindset of you know us versus versus them, that can be difficult sometimes. And I all I speak about us and them, you know. Um, a lot of a lot of the times but you know try try to navigate into a space of we we are creating as a whole and everybody can contribute in different ways so if you are open and welcoming and non-judgmental then you will probably be met in the same energy you know from other people or from the more traditional way of thinking so uh, so in general, I see more um, like in increased cooperation and collaboration between people like within our industry, of course, as well, because we have, I wouldn't say industry, but, but you know, self-development and, and spiritual uh, business. Um, we can see a lot of collaborations and uh, also, you know, bridging over and reaching out to people. And I, I see that already now popping up uh, all over the place. So if you're opening up to that, that will probably be in your world as well. So I see an increase an increase in uh, in general in the interest on in like everything that is natural. Of course being in nature, cultivation, animals, crystals, meditation, yoga, self-development, all of that, of course, and also spiritual development. That will increase because power, um, because people, because people are pulled back. You know, being being a lot of on the computers and on the cell phones and you know everything with AI and, and things like that. People are like, no, you know, everybody has a choice between nature or the the technological world. So you will see an increase in you know pulling towards. Uh, more the natural way of living so that's very beautiful and at the same time we will see a more clear as i said in the beginning clear dark development very very clear that will develop in parallel to our alternate alternative or the natural way of of uh, being uh, being in contact with everything so we will see more of the AI control, the vax, uh, the, the agendas, everything about that. And that will become more and more clear. And we can choose to see it, um, but not getting drawn into it. Because I, I, I feel that there's still a lot of fears in the alternative community. Um, when, when you see this, it's like, oh no, it's increasing. The dark agenda is increasing. And... Yeah, I see it, but don't choose it because that's how you you are creating. You are a creative being, so and uh, so it's very important to to uh, to make wise choices, as I said. So what will if we just will summarize this opening year a little bit? What will the opening year mean in more concrete terms? Um, that will be more collaboration, more connection and reunite uh, with your soul family and your star family, your soul family here on earth. And of course you have your soul family on other places too, but, and also more connection and collaboration with your star family. We will also see increased separation because of the dark and the light versus dark and light. And that will be more obvious to us. People that are choosing the more, the more light and people are, that are choosing more of the dark energies. We will see that and we will experience a more separation. One, t one thing that I think is very positive and beautiful is that they, my guides told me that long time longings um, will actually come to fruition. And it's like being 
uh, getting rewards for hard work that you put into like you maybe you've been working towards a goal for 20 years or you might maybe you set a goal 20 years ago like buying a, a cottage in the, on the countryside or wanting to start school again change jobs meet a partner and uh, you've had that deep longing for such a long time and now you can see that actually coming true and I really hope that will be uh, happening a lot of, of, of that you know during 2023. I see also a lot of startups like starting your business, getting started with different projects and uh, because that will also you will see a lot of possibilities and and openings in every area. And so there's a lot of opportunities during 2023 that will actually start coming. And that is uh, because you are getting more in alignment. Uh, thanks to all of the more of the divine energy that is coming in, you know, the holes that I described, um, we, um, the veil is really, the, you, know, you, can, you can really feel and see that the veil is in between worlds are lifted. You are getting more aligned with your soul's purpose, with your soul energy, with your soul essence. So that's why also these deep longings that you've been or, or wanting to manifest different things for many, many years that will actually come to fruition because you are so aligned with yourself, with your soul. So that is very beautiful. Um, so that is something that we can look forward to and be open to that because it's all up to you what you do with this energy. It's not no, it's the, everything's going to fall into place. It's like, oh, everything is going to be so, so beautiful and openings everywhere. But yeah, you have to be participating in that process. And also one thing, because of the energies are getting, you know, more in, in alignment with our soul essences, we will experience much faster and easier manifestations, both good or so-called bad <laughs> manifestations or not so good manifestations not that the manifestation manifestations or uh, that we actually want and that is due to the high frequencies that we're coming up to we are leveling up to high frequencies and we are getting more aligned and so we're not having that much interference with the dark if you also if you choose not to and so please pay attention what you manifest in your life are there things you need to work on with yourself Maybe you manifest things that you're not really happy with. So you can look at that. It's like, what is in me that I need to work on? And um, also one thing in this is how learn how to self-regulate. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but that is also one thing that is very important to learn. So the opening year means more like a physical manifestation of coming out of 3D. You will actually see that more and more. And my, my guys have described the awakening process, the ascension process as a birthing process. And in 2020 was like the first cramp that we uh, lived through when all this sea circus started. And now in 2023, we are in the face of like the, uh, I don't know the birthing terms here, but um, you know that when the plug is being released and uh, the water breaks, we're in that process. So we will experience increased flow in life. Um, and then the upcoming years, I don't know exactly when because I haven't really looked at that, but you know, that's the like the last pushes that you're doing. I don't know the birthing terms here, but I, I, I hope you understand what I mean. So you will be more in a in a in a, in a flow in your life uh, starting starting this year. And of course, uh, you have to yourself follow your own truth. As I said, you have to follow your own guidance, your own soul essence. Otherwise, this won't work. You don't. You will won't. You won't have more flow in your life if you're living against your truth. Um, but the energies and the energy openings will give us these conditions so that this will, uh, this can happen if you choose to. 
Um, so that's what I see, that many people will experience uh, more flow in their life. And uh, also this is happening now on a more like a larger scale, not just only for us, us in the small community, like the spiritual community, um, that we become more in sync and the universe is responding faster. But this will happen in a, in a larger scale because it's really opening up for other people as well. And when I speak about other people, I know that it's it's people that are not that haven't been walking on a spiritual path uh, for for many years and they're getting like whoa what's going on you know the i, I also see that uh 2023 will also increase or accelerate accelerate the awakening process collectively that's really my hope <laughs> at least <laughs> of course, I can't um, guarantee you anything, but the energies are 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 in favor of that, I would say. And so there will be many people getting more in touch with themselves and their soul essence, like automatically because of all the energies. So it's sort of like an automatic awakening. Also because um, the contrast between light and dark is getting more more clear. And of course, and then we will see an increase of separation. Just getting that in. <laughs> um, it's just good to remind you of that. It's also very important to give up the fight of trying to convince people about different things. And I'm I'm thinking more mostly about you know relating to to the awakening process. You know, like the uh, the cabal, the media lies. The media slides and and the healthcare system and uh, everything that's been going on during the sea surface and everything so um just drop that you know trying to convince people because if they're supposed to wake up they will um it's getting it's getting a little bit you know <laughs> late so to speak but but um yeah the energies are in favor of, of more awakenings and um as I said about this energy getting more, uh, this energy getting established by our um, light working team here on Earth, uh, 2023 is also a year of preparation, where the collective will be prepared to be able to receive hidden truths about our true history, about the deep manipulations that have been going on, this, the restraint of our power poisoning the rule of power and and many many things you know that's been going on for thousands of years that people are not really aware of so we are preparing the energy for upcoming events and as i said i see this lot very large bright um opal shimmering blanket so to speak which is being which will be um established during 2023 and this divine love that is uh, coming with that. That is really, you know, we're we're like this cotton putting um, people in this beautiful space. So that will be, you know, the truth telling process will be more calm, more harmonious, and, and that people will feel that they can trust. Um, I feel that energy very strongly already. So we, we are working with, you know, anchoring that energy. So it will be like the soft layer of cotton, uh, where where the collective just can you know land, and, um, as you know as the matrix is just revealed and exposed, and everything is falling down. So that is very beautiful. Also, it's a lot of positive things um, during twenty twenty three. I also would like to share a channeling directly from my galactic team, uh, also connected to twenty twenty three which I said will be more connection to, to our star sisters and brothers. And um, they say like this, the contact with us, your star sisters and brothers will increase if you so desire. Many of us have tasks to perform together with us and we look forward to our joint collaboration. We invite you on the sh on to the ships and take part of our your knowledge and then pass this on to the earthlings. 
your visits are mainly at night and etherical, uh, etherical at first. This is so that you can become accustomed to the energy, to the higher energies. Your bodies cannot han yet handle our energy, but you are preparing for your crystalline, crystalline form and have been for years. Uh, the diet is a crucial part for you to adapt to living in the higher frequencies. We will get back to you on, about this as it is very important a very important part of your process in living only on love, light and water. The transition to a living food diet is not something you should wait for. Start now and move forward with small steps. Increased contact with us naturally requires your dedication, commitment and that you set aside for contact. Zoe can help you with this if you need support. We're here for you in this process and we have never been closer. It has been a busy period for us all, but now that things are calming down, new conditions, new conditions are opening up to create and prepare for first contact. The physical con contact with us is still elusive for you where you are right now. Raising the frequency and allowing the change to take place in your bodies creates completely new opportunities for you to understand, to grasp what a phys physical, in, in quotation marks, um, contact with us would mean. The quote-unquote physical contact with us is not really a, that physical because you or we are not that physical at the level of contact. It is a process and now the karma cleansing and emotional cleansing plus clearing of discordant um, energies that have been completely or partially eliminated. New conditions are creating created for us. Uh, uh, new conditions are created for contact with us. There has been a lot of focus on purification. And now we have a completely different platform to, to start from. So the opening year is a great opportunity for you and to us to come together in a completely different way that has not previously been possible. And we invite you to take advantage of this opportunity. So we thank our galactic friends for that beautiful message. And just briefly, a little bit about the numerology of 2023. We have, of course, the five, two plus three, which is um, a number for transformation, new ideas, breaking boundaries. It's a lot of etherical and um, energies and uh, energies for change and also for freedom. So this is very, very interesting stepping into that transformational process. We have been a transformation for many years, but it feels like, yeah, it's, it's really being pushed. You know, transformation is being pushed. And we have uh, the, the number of seven, two plus two plus three. And that is um, leveling up, looking beyond, which is also very important to, not to see this, you know, darkness, darkness, darkness. There's a lot of things going on. It's chaotic and, um, the, all the agendas and it's very you know turbulent for people but looking beyond that and also striving for completion like this cyclic way of seeing life we, we have seven days in the week we have seven colors in the rainbow seven notes in the music scales and so going beyond that something new is being established in that way so that was very interesting. I'm not, I'm not a numerologist, but sometimes I, I take that in because I, I find it very interesting. And now we're going to look at some cards that I've pulled. And of course, still for 2023. And I, I pulled the cards already beforehand, so the process will be much easier for, for us because otherwise it will take too much, too much time. So the first... A uh, card that I pulled was from this deck of cards called Garden Angel. 
and it was six of action and i'm gonna read all of this in the card what a wonderful experience for you your project is a total success bringing uh, awards promotions or other recognition for your efforts well done if someone who can help you offers assistance know that this person is heaven, heaven sent and say yes and this connect, connects of course directly to what i've been speaking about coming out of the closet uh, and showing yourself and really getting out there and um that we are getting more in in alignment with our soul's essence and that's why we are getting success and that's um that's what I wrote about in the book, Mastering the Art of Success with Jack Canfield. And when you are living in your, uh, with your, in connection, in, in alignment with your soul's essence, then you're getting successful. So that connects, that connects directly to that. And of course, also, um, I've been pulling cards for 2020, 2022, and uh, that all is also a confirmation for the flow that we had during 2022. And that will also continue to um, be able getting into more flow as I've been speaking about during 2023. So that's also confirmation of that flow and connection alignment with your soul's essence. And uh, the message that I got when I pulled this card was that those of you, those of us who've been, been uh, working with the alternative therapies and, and uh, in the spiritual community, We'll start to receive credit for our work. And um, of course, we have been receiving a lot of credit before, but it's getting more widespread in a, and also in a different way from like the old, quote unquote, traditional way of seeing the world. So instead of being backstabbed and uh, ridiculed and mocked by other people, we were getting more recognition, as the card said. So... It's good to be, you know, stepping out and being more in the spotlight, showing yourself. And um, as I said, it will be more displayed in mainstream media uh, to a certain ex extent. So really get on stage and become more visible and show who you are and uh, also stand up for, for yourself. It's like, that. Yeah, yeah, this is what I do. This is what I work with. Um, and really have the guts to to uh, to stand for it, um, and you do that by anchoring it in yourself. So it's like you know coming out of the spiritual alternative closet, so to speak, and confess color. And yeah, so we will receive rewards for all the work we have uh, done for many many years, all the sweat and the tears um, that we put up with, you know, <laughs> being mocked and and everything. So that's very beautiful and very positive. I also asked for a message um, about the energies for 2023. And then I pulled a card from this white light oracle card deck. And this beautiful card called Anapausis. And it's a long text. I'm not going to read all of it. But the message that I got was, of course, you know, it's very wise to take breaks. And this is about taking a break from the world, uh, all the struggles, all the turmoil, all the chaos and going on in the world, all the horrible things. We really need to take a break from that, take a pause. And um, because everything is affecting us energetically. We are empathetic beings, we are empaths, we are very sensitive to energies. So we have to pull back from the world and everything that is going on. Um, so take one step or actually many steps, steps back from the darkness, from all the agendas and everything that is going on to regain strength and to regain vitality and your power and um, also take a break from the collective fears or actually your own fears as well so the that was a beautiful card to to encourage you to withdraw from the from the world and then i asked for a message from the stars for 2023 
And um, my question was, what do our star families want to want us to know for 2023? And I pulled a card from this beautiful Pleiadian Wisdom Oracle cards from Lark Ma. And I pulled this beautiful card, Relationship Being Different. And this also is so beautifully connected to what, what I've said before. Um, I'm going to read all of this because it's, I think it's so beautiful. Um, relationship, being different. Being different is neither good nor bad. It's just different. You may feel that you are different from others around you. That's not a bad thing. Different does not mean wrong. You are not truly separate from others because of your differences, even if they hold opposite viewpoints. It takes many viewpoints to realize a greater perspective in most situations. Your differences reflect your gifts and talents, which are needed for creating a more whole and integrated humanity. If others do not understand you, simply accept that your views are different from theirs without judging them or feeling judged yourself. Compassion for differing viewpoints supports a health, healthier connection. Whether you feel different or not, you are always connected to others. There is so, no separation in true, unconditional love, ever. I, I just love that last sentence. I will read that again. There is no separation in true, unconditional love ever so beautiful and they also have um, advanced use which they call this is the number universal energy of eight number eight uh, which stands for connection and abundance greater connection is always achieved through honoring others perspectives connecting you more deeply to your human family so that last sentence was really, you know, um, connecting to the separation, connecting to the separation that I've been talking to you about before, because, um, you know, being more, more, um, more, um, because being more open to other people's con uh, perspectives will also start you know bridging over and uh, and make us come together and yeah of course the separation is there for a reason but also to come together because we see it from a different viewpoint so this card was very beautiful you know being different uh, to be fully yourself is also connecting to what i've said earlier you know being yourself fully with all all the parts of you everything that you are and the way that you are making a difference in this world is because you are different. You're supposed to be different. That's why you're here, because you're supposed to, to make this transformation. We are coming from other planets. We are coming here to the Earth on a mission. And of course we are different, because that's what, what we're supposed to be. And uh, yeah, and also, you know, nourish that respect and acceptance of other people and other others uh, perspectives i think that was a very very beautiful card yeah and uh then i asked for a collective message for 2023 and this is my new favorite deck of cards i collect you know <laughs> cards like this some people are collecting shoes but i collect um, oracle cards the divine feminine and I pulled Amaterasu, Amaterasu, the goddess of light. It's a very, very powerful card, very beautiful and powerful card. There's a lot of energy in this card. When I pulled it, it's like, whoa, <laughs> the goddess of light. And my interpretation and the feeling that I got from this card was that let the light reflect and radiate out and to you at all all the time at all the time 
when you're going out, when you're home, radiate out that light and and receive that light, feeling that light coming towards you and really receive that light and integrate that light and then reflect out and, and radiate that light. It's going back and forth, back and forth. And see the light in everything and everyone. So you're br really bringing out your light to the world, being that goddess of light. And I'm not going to read all the, the, the whole text here, but she's speaking about, you know, also this, this need to retreat and to withdraw from the world, to be able to hold the light and be the light when you're coming out in the world again. So it's a beautiful uh, connection between all these cards, of course, because uh, that's how it works. And also with all the messages that I've been bringing bringing earlier in this in this video so just to summarize 2023 generally to think about during 2023 to choose actively choose between dark and light choose actively for the highest good of all and self-regulation i haven't spoken speak speaking a lot about self-regulation but that's you know how you navigate your feelings your emotions when they're coming uh, and you learn how to self-regulate and calibrate your energies so that you can come back to this alignment, being in alignment with your soul's essence, being in joy, being in, in love and uh, compassion and, and all of that. And keep your vibration high and bring light through the darkness, really to being that strong beam of light, you know, beaming that strong light out in the world that cuts through the darkness it really cuts through the darkness so beautiful so and just of course we will continue to see a lot of darkness we will continue to see a lot of separation we will continue to see a lot of insanity in the world and we will watch it fall everything will fall and we will watch it fall and um, so just feel this calm and be in harmony during this process, you know, being in tune with the, with the divine energies within you. And uh, just see and understand what the collective is going through and observe it. And of course, being, be a support for other people. So as we are seeing more separation, we're also seeing more of the union between people. And... Uh, and of course, we will see a lot of darkness. We will also see more of the light. So work with your fears and um, strive upwards and forwards. And do, don't get pulled backwards, back into old patterns, back into old um, ways of seeing things or being um, reactive to, to things. And really keep your focus on the goal on the goal and have that strong beam of light you know that cuts through the darkness be determined and stay focused and you're not you're not really you're not allowing any disturbances in your focus and that part of you know withdrawing taking care of yourself in this process that's to to rejuvenate your energy um so it's also very important. Okay, so that was my channelings, my messages for 2023. So now I will go through 2022 briefly. Uh, what's been going on in the energies during 2023 that will also uh, be, be uh, active uh, during 2023, of course. So the 20, 2022, my guides are calling the year of revelations. Everything is becoming more and more transparent as we are seeing and that permeates everything like in, in the society collectively in our relationships We're getting more and more transparent. That's been a theme for myself during 2022 In my relationship with my my boyfriend, we are very transparent and uh, what's going on and then that's why we have such an homo harmonious relationship because we are being transparent and, and with everything. So although these revelations have not yet been 
presented in the mainstream media, of course. They have been pu published in many good documentaries, uh, which re reveal, for example, you know, the enormous electoral fraud that we saw in 2020 in the American election. Uh, also, you know, the pharmaceutical indoctrination side effects of the inoculations and, you know, the dark side uh, of the uh, pride movement, the, what do you call it in English, LBQTQ, blah, 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 <laughs> all these letters. Um, there's a dark side to that as well, and that's coming forward as well. So there's a lot of great documentaries that been published that has been published during this uh, this year so energetically i see a lot of energy threads and cords that have been torn and um, i see a lot of loose ends uh, of this energy threads so it looks like the separation have has increased and um, there has been a clearer choice between love and fear which of course spills over and it's still active during 2023. It appears like those individuals who are, most, who are mostly in tune with the frequency of fear will come together. It's like I see them clumping together, coming together. And uh, also the same thing will happen with, with people who are more in tune with love and are choosing love instead of fear. So we're getting this separation uh, we have been getting more of this separation during 2022. And um, so on each side, we're, they're getting closer to each other. But at the same time, on a greater scale, we are seeing more of the separation. So more in, in unity and separation at the same time. Um, and this, of course, I've been speaking about that um, um when I when I spoke about 2023, you know, getting into more respect, respecting each other, accepting each other's differences, as I, as I just talked about. There's a lot about that during. It has been a lot about that in during 2022 as well. So there has been um, increased separations by death. Um, unfortunately, many souls have chosen to leave. And this actually includes younger, younger ones. Uh, it's not very comfor comfortable to speak about, but that's one thing that we have been seeing as well. Um, so I know I just wanted to confirm all of you who have been had a very difficult year in 2022. So the old is really coming to an end. Uh, and at the same time, it's been a lot uh, for me, it's been a year of great love and joy and light and harmony for me it's a very beautiful year for me personally and i know that for other people as well and talking about separation what we have seen during the last couple of years is that we have been seeing uh, increased separation actually between light workers as well and and that's a bummer because you know when you finally meet people that you like and you feel connected to, that you feel that you have your, the, the same vibration with, and and then they're discovering that, you know, they're not keeping up with your pace uh, during the ascension process, the awakening process, and that you are, you're feeling different again, and maybe they don't really fit to, um, together with you after all. So that's one thing that I have experienced to some, experienced to some extent, at least and things have also became become more clear more like crystal clear about which environment you should be in in which uh, relationships what is good and what is not that good for you and uh, and as i i spoke about transparency you see more and more you, and it can't be hidden and you you know and you feel where you should be and where you not should be so we can see the, the darkness more clearly now. Um, and at the same time, we're, you know, standing in our light and, and uh, being, being very anchored in the light. It has also been becoming more clear that some people don't really want to move forward into, you know, the awakening, the, the ascension process. They want to stay in 3D and that's fine. And we have to come to... Um, 
this reconci reconciliation with that, you know, uh, because people don't, they're, they're on different paths. They are, on a di they are on a different soul path than you are. So I really come to an accept and deep acceptance in that and respect that. Okay, so I pulled a, uh, some cards for 2022 as well. I was so curious, even though we're leaving that year, but, but still. First, I pulled some cards from this deck called uh, Life Purpose. And actually, there were two cards just jumping out <laughs> of the deck. Uh, and it was career change and also trust. And of course, these two cards are very interconnected. Uh, career change, um, what I interpret with that it, is that it has been a lot of changes, and not only in your career, on, a, on your personal level, it has been constant changes do, during 2022. Uh, it has been like one day it's they start a war and then it's you know the the prices of the food is you know skyrocketing and now like the electricity is skyrocketing the prices of that and you know the gas is skyrocketing it's been like very back and forward very uh, chaotic a lot of changes like fast changes and uh, this will of course continue in 2023 and now they are telling me right now that we have been trained uh, in handling changes and fast changes during the, the year of 2022 so to help us with all these changes of course we can dwell in the year in the in the energy of trust and really trust that we are held um the divine energy is holding us in this in in his or her arms um in this beautiful energy of just feeling feeling that everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna work out fine i'm trusting the universe i'm trusting myself i'm trusting that this is going to be so beautiful at the end so this was a beautiful card also to to accompany uh, um, accompany uh, career change or the fast changes or a lot of changes and also i pulled a card from this deck of cards archangel power and it was so funny because this just was a confirmation of the the other two cards that i pulled for 2022 knight of michael there we have archangel michael again uh, with his light sword cutting through the darkness as i've been speaking about strong committed intellectual and diligent time to move quickly choose logic over emotion sudden changes so this also connects with connects with the cards that i pulled for 2022 uh, career changes so this only confirms that we have been going through a lot of fast changes during 2022 and also that we have to be more in our uh, intellectual head and not being um you know pulled by our our emotions like our emotions like oh i'm i'm getting so fearful now because of this and that and da 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 all the electricity prices going up and food prices and everything and uh, and the and the war and and you know all the catastrophic news that are that are just you know uh, pushed out by mainstream media so we have to choose logic um over emotions so that is that has been very um very important during 2022 and of course it's still important so this only confirms that it has been a lot of changes and has been fast changes uh very rapid changes during uh, 2022 and just a little reflection on the numerology of 2022 you, ha you have three twos and two of course represent union it represents relationships and three the number three we have three twos the number three uh, represents joy so the joy of union joy of relationships 
Um, so 2022, I see that it has been about uniting beyond differences. And it's also a little bit about that theme, 2023, of course, you know, bridging and, and looking beyond, seeing through things, uh, see the man behind the walls of separation, behind the walls of fear. Um, so really, you know, trying to relate to that person, even though we, you are different. So I see like the relationships have been very uh, in the spotlight for 2022. And the, and the joy of relationships. Uh, and it's important to see the positive in the relationships. Even though it, it probably has been a lot of struggles in relationships. But still see the joy in the relationships. And honor them. Honor other people. And then maybe move on. Because yes, you've been sharing a lot of things during your lifetime together. And you have had great times together. But now, you know, I'm on a different journey now. And... Thank you for everything, but now we are going in separate ways. So just separate in love. So it has been a lot of focus on relationships during 2022. Also separation uh, from the earthly family and also union with your soul family. That's been also very, very um, much of that during 2022. And this is, of course, an ongoing process and because duality is getting more, more, it's getting more clear. And, uh, and that has been also, also been very, very important during 2022, that duality is more getting more clear to us, seeing black and white, seeing light and dark and trying to find the balance because two is also a number of balance. 22, uh, is of course for of course master number so um really to it has been about you know uh, cultivating your own inner master finding and clarify your own path through the chaos trying to navigate yourself being your own master in that process two plus two four uh it's about a lot of like the earthly physical life and number four, it creates stability and also patience and calmness, which we have needed a lot during 2022. Stability and patience and calmness. So that's been very beautiful in 2022. Also that, that energy of stability. The number six, two plus two plus two, is a number of completion, realization and community, harmony and beauty. It's a beautiful number there. And I have experienced a lot of that during um, during 2022 in my life. A lot of beauty and a lot of harmony. And uh, things that were not, you know, creating community, harmony, and beauty have been, you know, showing itself and is also falling, falling apart. It has been uh, falling apart during 2022. So to summarize 2022, uh, we've been seeing increased, increased separation at the same time, more unity, that lovely paradox, um, and more revelations, disclosures, um, and also a lot of changes, fast changes, and uh, the necessity to, to make quick decisions. I'm trying to navigate in these, okay, now it's changing this, and now it's changing. So you're getting more in touch with yourself knowing how to navigate through this turmoil, to this, through this chaos. It's been a great school during, during 2022. And also it's been a lot of fears um, connect, connected to 3D and uh, connected to survival, survival fears and healing them, looking at them and healing them. And... As I said, you know, the war, the electricity prices, food prices, gas prices, you know, it's been bringing up a lot of fears connected to survival. And probably we need to still work on that during the, uh, the next year in 2023. Um, so it's been a process where everything is turned upside down and knowing that we have to keep a steady focus, keep a steady course through this. So now we are really 
um, we've, we've learned a lot during 2022 going into 2023 when we will see more of this falling apart. Beautiful process. So just keeps, keep the steady focus of the light and the grand prize at the end. Okay, so that was everything for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video with your friends and family and those who are interested in navigating uh, the year to come. And I hope I see you soon. Take good care of yourselves and keep the focus on the light. So yeah, bye. Take care. Bye-bye. I love you. <laughs> bye.